Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you this new little tire inflator that I got. It's called Rock Bros. Um, about $80. Um, came from China, I think. I mean, it was all over Facebook and bicycle stuff, so I figured I'd try it. Um, CO2s um, tend to work or don't work. Um, this weighs about the same as uh, two uh, CO2s and an inflator. I carry it in my back pocket. Um, it has a, sh a Schrader and a Presta. I'm only going to do Presta today because I don't think I even have any Schrader valves. Um, it's supposed to do two road tires, two gravel tires, and I think one or two mountain bike tires at a time, and then you have to charge it. It is a US, uh, USB-C, so it charges really quickly. In about 10 minutes, it charges all the way up, so I'm gonna show you that also. And uh, let's get to it. Okay, so here's a little bit about the unit. Um, there's a little button here on the side. It, it has this little white silicone cover because these do get hot when you're using them. There's a charge port, which again is a USB-C. Um, it's set up for Presta. You can change it to Schrader. Um, there's the button to turn it on. So you press that, that turns it on. Green means it's charged. Red means it needs to be charged, and then there's a yellow light also. Okay. So for this demonstration, I have four 700C, 700 by 40 tires to air up. All four of these wheels are flat. We're going to see if we can get all four of these filled up on one charge. I'm going to pump them to about 45 PSI. So I'll have to use my gauge on my pump to check that. Okay, so let's get to it. So just like a CO2, so just like a CO2, you're gonna put it on your, on your valve. You're gonna hit the button and hit it again. And Hit it again. And it starts airing up. You do not have to push the button and hold it while it's airing up the tire. So that short amount of time got about 20 PSI. That's still green. Definitely would have got enough air to get you home if you needed. Okay, it's pretty hard. Should be close to 40. Let's see. So it is showing about 30, but again, this gauge could be off because the tire feels pretty hard. So um, I'm gonna keep going until my gauge says 40. So 
sounds like it's dying. Okay. Let's see what kind of pressure we have. From my experience, you need to just keep it on there. That's right at, that's right at 40. Just a little under 40, give or take. These uh, floor pump gauges aren't the most accurate. All right, so there's one tire. It is showing yellow. So we're gonna try one more tire and see if we can, this time I'm not gonna take it off though. I'm gonna leave it on there. I'm gonna leave it on there until I either the pump dies or it feels hard enough for 40. There is no gauge on it, which I don't know if that's worth it or not, but there is one out there with gauge, but it's a much bigger unit, heavier. So, all right, so let's do the second tire. You have to apply a little pressure to make sure it's it's on the uh, press the valve. I notice it does air up better and faster when you apply a little pressure, kind of like when you do your uh, a pump or anything like that. It definitely airs quicker. And you definitely don't want to touch the area where it's pumping. It is hot. It's burned my finger. Okay. Right on 40. Give or take. So it does definitely work better to leave it on the tire. So that's two tires. Now we're gonna do the other two, see if it can make it. Um, I watched it, the competitor with the, um, the gauge on it the other day, there was a video, and it could do basically two tires, and, and it's a much bigger unit. So if this could do four tires, that's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty good when you're out on a group ride and you may be able to save some people that have CO2 failures or at least know that if you have four flats, you're gonna have the ability to air them up. I mean, this is, if it can do all four of these, this is gonna be four higher volume tires on gravel bikes. Again, 700 by 40 on all four, all four wheels. So let's see if we can get two more tires out of this. Completely flat. I did read the instructions and it says that it works better completely flat for some reason. I'm not sure why, but all right, let's do the second one. Remember, you have to put pressure on it to get the most volume of air in there. And it does work a lot faster that way. tire three I think I wasted some energy the first time you know if I had just kept it on there it would have aired it up faster
It's not as loud as the other one. It's pretty loud, but it's not too bad. And here it's definitely uh, slowing down. But it's airing the tire up. Pretty hard tire, might have went over 40 PSI, let's see. So tire three, um, just. All right, we're gonna do tire four. Let's see if we can get four tires out of this thing. It is on red, so I'm not, but let's see if we can get enough to get us, um, if you got 20, 25 PSI out of it, you probably could get home or back to the car. Okay, it's airing up. Dying as you can hear. And there we go, it died. It probably got maybe 10 PSI in it. So it's completely dead. It's on red. So now we're going to charge it and see how long it takes to charge back to green. Okay, so this one, it had a full charge prior to doing this test. So it blinks when it's charging so we are going to set a timer and see how long it takes all right there we go let's see how long it takes to get it back to green okay we're at 14 minutes still charging but you notice it goes it was going um red to yellow now it's red to green so it's probably almost charged so i think under 20 minutes it's going to be back to 100 percent okay just turned yeah uh green and the clock says 30 minutes so it was completely dead 30 minutes most likely you're not going to run it down to dead zero so but okay so it weighs sorry so it weighs 112 grams okay let's do so i carry this type of inflator which is really and then i have a co2 in here okay and then i carry a spare okay so these two weigh 184 grams. If you are more of a weight weenie. Okay, so for the minimalist, one CO2 and just a, an inflator is 88 grams. But if you added another CO2, which most people carry two, you're going to be basically at the same weight as the inflator, if not more. So, just to summarize, I think it's a great tool to carry with you. It's easy. just need to make sure it's charged. Um, it does hold a pretty good charge if you don't use it. So, um... It's not one of those things that it just loses charge over time. And again, most time you're, you know, I did about three and a half tires um, till the thing was completely depleted. And I, I kind of wasted a little bit of energy on the first tire if I had just kept it on there. So I do recommend this. I'm not paid by them. I bought this with my own money. I just saw it. I read a little bit about it. I thought it was a good um, thing to carry. Um, so I just put it by my sunglasses and helmet and I put it in my jersey pocket every time I go out on a ride. 
So hopefully um, uh, this is a good uh, fit for some of you. Um, it is expensive up front, but so are CO2s and you will burn through, a pack of CO2s is $35. So, you know, you'll go through those over time. So it'll, it'll co be cost effective over time, but initially it is a little expensive, but it does work really, really well. So I hope you like this little test. And again, I bought this with my own money. I'm not sponsored by them, um, but I definitely buy one if you have the funds and the means to do it and stop carrying a pump and CO2s. All right, with that, go out and ride your bike. I hope you like and just subscribe and please leave me some comments and I look forward to making more videos and seeing you soon.